radian measures and trigonometric ratios. The terminal arm of an angle in standard position passes through minus 3 minus 4. Find the radian value of the angle in the interval 0 to 2 pi to the nearest hundredth. Okay, to the nearest hundred. We can close it here. Correct. So, let's put first figure out where the point is on our coordinate plane. So, let's say this is our coordinate plane. So, minus 3, minus 4. That means minus 3 and minus 4. So, somewhere here, right? So, let's make our terminal arm. So, that's the point where the terminal arm passes through minus 3, minus 4. Find the radian measure of the value of the angle in this interval, 0 to 2 pi. That means one full circle within that. So within that, we when we say in standard position, that means initial arm is always along the x-axis. So that's the initial arm, right? So that is the angle which we want to find. How much is this angle? To find this angle, what we really do is we split it into two parts. We say, well, let this angle be the related acute angle alpha from here to here, which I'll say alpha, plus 180 degrees. So whenever you have a point on a coordinate plane and you need to find the angle, best part is find the related acute angle and then figure out what is the angle, what is the principal angle, okay? That way you will always get the right result without any confusion. So let's find the related acute angle alpha. Now to find this, what should we do? We can consider this triangle. Correct? Now this triangle, and when we say related acute angle, that means this angle is equal to I'm drawing another triangle in quadrant 1. So now, these two triangles are similar triangles. <coughs> Since, if this is alpha, this is vertically opposite angle, correct? This will also be alpha. The concept of related acute angle is that any triangle in these four quadrants can be translated into a triangle in quadrant 1. And once we do that, we can find the related acute angle. Once we know the related acute angle, then we can add and subtract 90, 180 or other terms depending on its position and find the principal angle. Correct? So, this triangle is similar to that triangle. And therefore, we have this point is minus 3 over 4, that becomes 3 over 4. Correct? So in that case, this side is 3, along the x-axis, and along y-axis, it is 4. And now, we can use tan of alpha to find what alpha is, correct? So we say tan alpha is equal to 4 over 3. And therefore, alpha equals to tan inverse of 4 over 3. Now let's use calculator to figure it out. So we have tan inverse and remember the calculator setting should always be in radians. Okay? Otherwise you will not get the answer in radians. Now here we need answer in radians nearest to 100th place. So we get 0 0.9279. So that is the value of alpha. Now what is the angle? The angle is pi plus alpha. Since this is 0 and from here to here we have pi. So our angle is pi plus alpha. So we should add pi to it. So let's say the angle theta is equal to pi plus alpha. So which is equal to? We'll add pi to it and gives us 4.0688.
round to nearest hundredth. So we have hundredth is here, right? 4.07. So that is our answer for the angle in radians when the terminal arm passes through the given point minus 3 minus 4. Okay.